Hey, thanks for watching. This is Spencer with Computer Advantage, and we're here today to talk about iDevices. iDevices have are quite a few different products for your smart home, and they all work with Apple's HomeKit, along with other services like Amazon Alexa, but we like to focus on HomeKit here. Uh, so I have a few in my hand. I have uh, the outdoor switch, so you can use this to control outdoor um, devices. A lot of customers use it for Christmas lights or for fountains. So if you want to turn your fountain on and off, you can incorporate incorporate that into a scene, like an entertainment scene where it automatically turns your fountain on along with your outdoor lighting. But anyway, this is an outdoor uh, switch. And then we have an indoor switch, which we're going to install today with our good friend and electrician, Jim, from American and Pride Electric in Bradenton. Uh, so if you're in the Bradenton, Sarasota area and need an electrician, uh, he can help you out. And so we have the wall switch, which he's going to install for us today. And then they also make a wall outlet. So again, you can turn these on and off so you can control lights or other devices in your home. Then we have a wall, like a lamp switch, so you can plug lamps into it. And then we have a socket to plug into an existing lamp. And then that gives you additional color and control of that lamp. And so you can have color accents along with your normal bulb in there. Uh, and so great options, you know, the outdoor switch and... The regular switch are great options if you don't, if you're not comfortable opening up your wall and doing wiring, or if you don't want an electrician to come and do the work. But if you want something that's very seamless and very elegant, the end wall installations are great. And again, if you're not comfortable doing this kind of work yourself, hire a licensed electrician like Jim, and they can take care of it for you. So we're going to go ahead and let Jim get started with installing our switch. All right. All right, well, we've pulled out the switch now. We just have to be careful not to touch any of the screws on here. And we take our little trust, uh, little trusting tester and we find out which is our line and our load. So our bottom is giving us our signal, so we know that's our line. And at this time, it's gonna be a good idea to go ahead and shut off the breaker and kill the power before we start any further. All right, well, now we've got the switch pulled out of the wall and we've identified which is our line and load, so we can we got our power turned off. We can go ahead and start disconnecting the, uh, the wires at this time to get our uh, iDevices wall switch installed. So we just take apart the ground and we get our ground taken off and we get our neutral taken off, our, uh, our load and our line off the switch so we can get our, get our iDevices switch installed. And it's very important to just make sure we have all the power turned off at this point so that there's no issues. We need to get the ends of our wire straightened out. Our iDevices uh, wall switch will go in with wire nuts, so we won't need to wrap these screws around um, with the wires like we did the old, the old-fashioned kind. So now we'll straighten out the ends of the wires, and for our iDevices, we'll need our line, we'll need our load, we'll need our ground. And we'll need a neutral wire for the, to make the switch completely operable. So we have to make sure we have those four things ready and handy. So then we have our switch here, and we are going to connect it in the order of our grounding first, then our neutral, then our load, and then our line last. Make sure you get a good twist on the wire nuts. We don't want them coming off. All righty, we've got all the wires connected now, and now it's just a matter of getting them back into the box. Um, just start with the wires that are in the back first and get them nice and tucked back in there. We've got a lot of wires to get in there. Now we'll go ahead and get that screwed in. Right. Lastly, we'll get our plate installed, and the installation of our iDevices wall switch will be complete. All right, well thanks Jim for getting our iDevices switch installed. Uh, so at this point you want to go turn your circuit breaker back on, which we have done, and so now we can just make sure it works. So we're just going to turn it on. Our light turns on, you can't see the light in the video, um, and I'm just going to turn it back off. And so now uh, we're going to let Jim go do some other lights, and we're going to walk you through setting it up inside the iDevices app and adding it to HomeKit. So right within the manual for the iDevice wall switch 
it tells us how to get into Wi-Fi pairing mode. So we're gonna hold down button six for five seconds, and when it flashes blue, we're gonna hold down, uh, or just tap button number two, and they give us the numbers right here. So everything's laid out really nice. So I'm gonna hold down that button. The light starts flashing blue, I'm gonna let go, and I'm gonna tap that button. Now we are in Wi-Fi connection mode, pairing mode, so now we can go back to the app. Okay, now that Jim has set us up with our wall switch, it's all installed, ready to go, and we've tested to make sure it's working, we can go to our device and set it up in the iDevices app. So we're just gonna to go to the app store and download it. Uh, this is pretty simple. If you've ever downloaded an app, you know what to do. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick search for it and find it. So we're just typing iDevices, and it'll, you just need a few letters of it. And it'll be one of the first things that shows up. And free download, just download it and open it. We have it downloaded on our device already. Now let's see here, it's probably on this screen. Um, so under the iDevices app, it's gonna be that purple icon there. We're gonna open it up. The first time you set it up, it's gonna walk you through setting up the app and the HomeKit compatibility. So we're kind of going to be doing two things during the setup. One is connecting to iDevices and one is connecting to Apple's HomeKit setup. So access your home data, we're going to hit that. Now it's again enabling iDevices to communicate with other HomeKit compatible devices. And this is something that I would recommend allowing uh, because it's part of the beauty of having these devices that are HomeKit compatible is you can control devices from multiple manufacturers all in the same place. We're going to allow notifications, you don't have to, and we're going to sync it to iDevices, uh, to iCloud. I would recommend doing that because that way anything you make in the iDevices app, like scenes and things like that, can sync to your other devices as well. So we're going to allow that on our app. Enable location services. This is required if you want to be able to use location-based triggers like leaving home, arriving home, or switching between multiple homes based on your location. So we're gonna enable that, and we'll continue. So now we've added our home. Now we do have more than one home set up in our home kit setup already. Uh, so right now we are on our showroom setup, which is not where we wanna be. So we're gonna tap on the menu icon, and we're going to switch home, and we're gonna pick Home Synergy Center. That's where we wanna be. And so now this is gonna to switch to our Home Synergy Center setup, which at the moment has a Lutron Radio Raw 2 system set up in it. So these are all actually Lutron uh, dimmers installed. So I'm gonna go back to the menu bar and add product. And it is going to search for our product. Uh, so if you don't see the device here, make sure you follow the instructions in the manual of the iDevices wall switch to get it into the Wi-Fi pairing or Wi-Fi connect mode. Uh, which we show you in the video. So this is what we want, so I'm gonna tap on it. And now it's going to initiate the connection uh, with, between our iPad and our Wi-Fi network and the dev iDevices device, so in this case, our wall switch. So this can take, you know, usually up to a minute. It's going to connect to your Wi-Fi network, and it's good to point out that if you have multiple Wi-Fi networks or like extenders that have like a different uh, network name than your main network, Make sure your device, your iPad or iPhone during setup is connected to the network you want your device to connect to. So if it's on one end of the house that has uh, the extension on it or something like that, make sure you're connected to that network during the setup process. So we are connected to the right one. I'm just gonna give it a name wall switch for right now. Just make it a little bit easier. So tap on next. And so now it's actually gonna send my Wi-Fi credentials to the wall switch. And again, this process can take usually less than a minute, but give it a couple minutes if necessary. One thing to always think about when we are doing smart home devices, like light switches or like video doorbells, things like that, is to make sure you have good Wi-Fi signal in those locations, because sometimes they're installed in locations that we don't normally think of having good Wi-Fi, like outside the front door for a doorbell or a light switch that might be on an outside wall and on a far end of the house. Make sure it has good Wi-Fi signal if you want this device to be reliable. And if you need have questions about Wi-Fi setups, we can help you. We have products and solutions that could help you with that as well. So now the device is going to search for any other iDevices app, uh, devices that we may want to add. And so while it's searching for additional iDevices products, we can just wait 
if we had more, it would find more, or we could put them in Wi-Fi connect mode. For today, we only have one, so that sounds great. So we'll tap on plus. It will flash to identify it as the right one. Yes, it is the right one. And now it's going to allow us to add it to HomeKit. So I don't have the barcode they're showing there, so I'm just going to hit I can't scan, and I'm going to manually enter the code. So in order to add your switch to HomeKit, you have to have a HomeKit code. And if you notice during the installation, it's on the side of the switch, which is now in our wall. Thankfully, iDevices is smart enough to give us a quick little pullout, and that gives us our iDevice or our, and that gives us our HomeKit code right on here so we can get to it anytime. We don't have to take our wall apart to get it again. It also gives you primary and secondary options. That's going to be if you're installing in a three-way or four-way installation, you'll want to just mark which one's primary and which one's secondary. And it covers all that in the manual. So we're going to close that up once we have our code and uh, we'll be good to go. The nice thing is iDevices does provide that code right on the switch on a little pull-out tab as we showed you in the video. and it will connect. And so now I'm adding this to the HomeKit app. So now I need to give it a name, how Siri will recognize the wall switch. So we're really doing two things at once. So I'm going to give it a name, oh, and I want to give it a custom name. Right. Okay. So I'm going to name the product. I'm just going to keep it wall switch to keep it easy since that's what we named it in the app. But normally you would want to name it based on what it is, you know, uh, ceiling lights, lamp, whatever it may be. Now this one is pretty neat because iDevices includes a little night light. And so you can actually control that separate from the main light that it's connected to hardwired. So I'm going to just name it night light uh, to keep the name short and simple. And we're going to use the default photo. And now we want to add the room. So I'm going to add it to the massage chair room because that is the room it is in. We'll tap on next. And then you can register your product. The nice thing about registering your product is if you have a warranty claim or something, they'll have a record of it already. For now, I'm going to say no thank you. And we're going to start using the product. So now if I go to massage chair room, we can see that we have that wall switch. It is currently turned off. So if I turn it on, it turns on just fine and we can turn it off. So now I just want to briefly touch on using the Apple Home app to control the iDevices in wall switch. So now that we have iDevices set up, I'm going to go to the Home app and take a look at what it looks like in here. So we're in here, we can see that our massage chair nightlight is here and our massage chair wall switch is here, so I can turn it off and on. And I can adjust the level of the, of the nightlight, which is pretty neat. So if you want a little bit of light in your room at night, but not a lot of light, you can control that. So now what I want to do is add it to a scene. So I'm going to go to the good night scene, and I'm going to hold down, and then tap on details. And this will let me control what's in this scene. So I'm going to go add and remove accessories. I'm going to add the night light and the wall switch. Then we'll hit done. And now it lets me tell what I want to do with those. So the night light, I want to say we'll want that at 100%. If I hold down, I can also change it, but at the bottom, I can go to color. I can actually change the color of the nightlight, which is pretty neat. I'm just going to leave it. The default is purple. That's fine for now. And then, so I want to make sure the nightlight is on, but then I want to turn off the light because we're going to bed, right? So we'll hit done. And so now when I tap on good night, it turns off the main light in the room, and it turns on the nightlight. All right, let's see if Suri will uh, turn off our light for us. Turn off the wall switch. Okay, the wall switch is on. Wall switch, sorry, I cut you off, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Turn on the wall switch. Turns it on. Demo. You got it. Thank you, Siri. All right, so once you have HomeKit set up, we can now go to any device that's tied to our Apple ID or has been invited to our home and control it. So I'm just going to hold down the button and tell Siri goodnight. Good night. And so you can see it turns off the night. light. Bye -bye. And it turns on our little night light. So we're in good shape, we're ready to go.
So we can come through and we can actually turn the nightlight on and off, and then we can hold down in the app and adjust the brightness and the color. So you can see I can actually change the color of the nightlight. Thanks for watching our video on how to install and set up the iDevices in-wall switch. We appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and join us in one of our stores if you want to pick up one of the iDevices products or any of the other smart home products that we sell and start making your home a smart home.